Hello everyone, we're starting today our uh, pre-shift uh, warm-up stretches, um, dynamic ones uh, for movement. So we're going to start our uh, first stretch with the neck turn. We're just going to move our neck to the side and then we're going to hold the stretch for about 15 seconds. And we're gonna do the same thing for the other direction as well. So we're gonna move to the right, and then we're gonna hold it again for 15 seconds. And we're gonna do this one. Next, we're gonna move for our neck flexion and extension. So we're just gonna be moving our neck downwards and then back up and we're going to do this for about 12 repetitions. I'm going to do a side view on this one as well. Next, we're going to move to our shoulder rolls, um, shoulder, uh, feet shoulder width apart, and we're just going to be moving our shoulders in a circular rotation. You can start, you know, backwards first, and do this for about four repetitions. And then move to the side view as well. And we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to move to the front and then roll our shoulders, shoulders forward. I'm going to move to the side view. Again, doing this for all repetitions. A couple more. Nice job. Next, we're going to move to a stretch called W, which is going to stretch your chest and back at the same time, starting at this position. We're going to move forward and then back and squeeze. So that's one. We're going to do this for about 12 repetitions. That's two. Nice and slow, stretch in the front and then again in the back with the squeeze. And we're going to do a side view. One more, and we're good. Next stretch, we're going to move to biceps and triceps. So your arms extended on the side, and then in a circular motion, we're just going to rotate our arms forward and then backwards for one rep. We're doing 12 repetitions on here. more. One and last one. Nice job. Um, next we're gonna do our forearm stretch. Um, the forearm stretch and it's arm is in front of you uh, with the wrist position. We're just gonna bring the wrist down to the floor and then back up to the ceiling. You can do this for about 12 repetitions. So that's two. That's three. So you're going to move to the side view. And last one. You know, the same thing for the left arm. Extend it in front of you to the side, and then bring the wrist down to the floor, up to the ceiling for one rep. It's two. You're going to do this for 12 repetitions. Make sure you think that stretch in your forearm, 
with no pain, nice and slow movement. And move to the side of you on this one as well. Nice job. Do one more stretch for the arm and the hand. So we're gonna do our hand stretch. We're gonna start at this position. We're gonna open the hand fully, nice and slow, and then back as a fist. So that's one rep. That's two. Three. Three, extending those fingers. You're gonna do a side view. And last one. Do the same thing for your left arm and hand. Starting right here. And nice and slow. Open your hand fully. Stretch the fingers. We're going again for four repetitions. Gonna move to the side view. And one more. All right, so next we're gonna do our trunk rotation. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna raise our hands up and we're gonna turn our body to the side here. Reaching, so you should feel a nice stretch through your rib cage and down your side here. We're gonna hold this for 15 seconds and then we're gonna go to the other side. So same thing on the other side, you're gonna reach on up to the other side. 15 second hold. Again, feeling it through your rib cage right through here. All right, good. All right, so now we're gonna move into our lunge position. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna take a slight step forward, raise your arms up towards the sky, keeping your rib cage down, and now we're gonna step back. So forward, backward. We're gonna do 12 each leg, 12 repetitions. This is four. Good, keep it up nice and steady. Very good. Okay, I'm gonna turn to the side here so we can make sure we get both angles. And last one here. Now we'll switch to the other side. So same thing as we did before. This time we're just putting our left leg forward, raising our arms up and back down. Keeping your rib cage down. You don't wanna do this, right? We wanna keep our core nice and tight. Okay, rib cage stays down. And then I'm gonna to turn to the side so you can get this side. All right, that's 12 there. Calf stretch. So you're gonna bend your bright, your, your bright knee, right knee forward, and you're going to be stretching again through your back leg, this is where you should feel it, in your calf. So you're going to lean forward, get a nice, good stretch to the back leg. We're going to hold this for 15 seconds each side. So this one, again, it's okay if you feel this through your hamstring. That's to be expected. We're going to turn so you can get a visual here of both ankles. There we go. So right leg stays bent. Left leg stays straight. Now we're gonna switch it around here. We're gonna put the left leg now bending and right leg is gonna stay straight. 15 seconds, here we go. So with this one, again, you wanna feel a nice deep stretch through the calf of that back leg. And you might feel it a little bit through the hamstring, that's okay. We're gonna go forward here. There we go. Stretching through that right leg. 
All right, so the next stretch that we're gonna do is gonna be our quad stretch and our hip opener. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna raise your leg up to stretch out through your quad and then bring it straight back to open up through your hip. We're gonna do 12 repetitions each side. Here's two. Three, nice and slow through this rotation. You can use a table, a chair, a desk, whatever you need to help you stabilize through it. Nice and steady here. Last one. Good. We're going to do our right side, same as before. You're going to lift that leg up and then you're just going to touch it down right behind you, open up through your hip. Two, 12 repetitions each side with this one, same as before. Very nice. Again, nice and slow with all of these stretches. It's meant to be slow and steady, even though it is dynamic. We want to make sure that we're not going too fast through each exercise. Again, you can use a ledge, a table, whatever you need to help you stay balanced. We're going to do a couple more repetitions here. And done.